Hey, how's it going, guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another Battlefield 2042 video. Yeah, it's crazy we're saying that. The new Battlefield was revealed today with an absolutely amazing trailer. It was honestly everything I could have asked for in a Battlefield game. Today, we're actually going to be looking and discussing the storyline within Battlefield 2042. Just discussing that in a little bit more detail because I know that it's been confirmed. There's no single player campaign in this game. And it was confirmed that actually, rather than having a single player campaign, the story is going to be told through multiplayer, through the different seasons that drop into the game so i'm going to leave this page down in the description down below it's essentially on the battlefield website is something called the world which goes into detail the events leading up to 2042 and essentially what's happened within that time frame now i'm going to summarize it in very very short because i know that you guys are gonna, uh, i don't want to bore you guys reading this through and cutting it up and things like that so i'm going to summarize it very very short but if you want to go read the full article i'll leave it in a link down below in the description so when we jump into this game we're going to be playing as players or a an alliance called the non patriated which is an abbreviation they're called the no pat they're their own alliance that are essentially in between two governments from us and russia so in 2037 the world is completely in the ship there's so much going on there's so much wrong a lot of the countries and different the states and locations have completely closed their borders um, not allowing anyone in or out because of all of the issues that are currently going on within the world in 2037 with there being so many people that are obviously unpatriotic towards their, co their country now they're essentially now just trying to survive for themselves these people form an alliance called the no pass and become a permanent fixture in all economic military and social policy making and there's still this distrust within the no pats um, actual alliance itself actually with the government because obviously they've exiled them that's the that's the massive problem and that's obviously the main foundation of the no pats and why they have formed they want to help refugees they want to help people that have been essentially exiled from these countries to form some form of alliance where they're going to be able to survive for themselves and then when the leaders of the no pats are trying to communicate this out trying to get this actual alliance out there there's just an outcry of people and rallying to actually join the no pats there's people walking around with we are hashtag we are no pats becoming an absolute rallying cry people are parading or protesting and things like that to become a no pat and just uh, against the governments that are obviously exiled them and causing these problems and whilst all this is happening there's also a massive conflict between the us and russia these are the last two remaining massive countries that are left that have the power to essentially take over the world and that's what they're fighting for they're fighting for essentially world domination now three years on from this in 2040 there was a massive debris storm within space causing 70 percent or even more all orbiting satellites to malfunction and crash to work again nobody knows the cause of this this is just something that happened with this happening though it caused over a hundred thousand people to lose their lives and it also caused different things like planes crashing obviously when it happened communicate communication grids completely collapsing already jammed global supply chains come to an absolute standstill prices of oil grain coal and skyrocket exponentially just because of this one move again with the satellite crashing it's going to cause things like no internet no navigation no surveillance no storm forecasts in the trailer for an example a massive tornado come towards the people with a, with a massive storm and it essentially pulled them all into the tornado because they had no warning because these satellites were not available to show them. this also means that the two countries that are fighting for power are unable to spy on each other now they're unable to use technology to their advantage Anymore. they have to do it the old-fashioned way this could mean like sending in people undercover or as spies to see exactly what's going on within both of the country's governments and things like that so it's a bit snaky but again you gotta do what you gotta do a lot of people are also suspectful that the no pats were actually behind this as well but uh yeah a lot of people are accusing the no pats of being one of the, uh, the the driving forces behind this actually happening but i actually think it was one of the two countries russia or the us that were trying to do this uh, but again we don't know any more details about this it's just speculation at this point again this just adds more fire to the the storm obviously the two countries that are fighting for world domination are now completely taken back by 10 steps and the no pats are essentially exactly the same however the no pats now have a choice they are their own alliance they do not work for anyone they don't answer to anyone other than the no pat leaders however with the us and russia now essentially fighting also for survival trying to get their obviously with fuel sort of shortages they've got food shortages all of this sort of stuff they want to try and maintain plausible deniability within this whole thing and go and try and steal loads of resources or go and get fuel from these different places go and steal food from people get as many people on their side as possible to try and take over or try and invade the other country so one of the things i think in the game that we're going to have to choose from and this could tie into the overall campaign i don't know we might have to choose some form of soldier so we've got a, it says here we've essentially got to choose sides we've got to choose whether we want to be on the russian side or on the us side i don't know if there's going to be a set storyline that we are on the us side or we're 
on the Russian side and they have to fight for whatever. But from what I'm reading here, the notepads are in the middle and you have a choice. You can try and work for one of these governments and you uh, basically get whatever's left after that. You get a piece of whatever's left, whatever you've stolen, whatever you've taken, you get a piece of that at the end of it so these notepads that are joining these different governments could be fed a lie they could be said that if you go steal this for us or if you go, go take over this camp you can have whatever's in that camp however that may not be the case you can have whatever's in this camp and you can go back to being a notepad after it's not a problem we just want this camp whereas really that's probably not the case they're gonna you're gonna join they might even kill you at the end of it you never know they might say oh wait we've actually got another mission for you and then it just keeps you on a never-ending cycle Again, I don't know how it's going to work, but it does seem pretty interesting that we are going to be playing as these no pats. We have we don't answer to anyone other than our leaders, and we might be able to choose who we're fighting for. At this point, it does seem like and it makes a lot of sense to fight for different compounds, different locations, fight for buildings, skyscrapers, which have resources in them, or these different fuel uh, or food, water, uh, fossil fuel, stuff like that. That might be what we're actually fighting for to try and take land in order to just uh, assert dominance and things like that. Again, I don't really know but just to read the last line here 2042 no pats have no choice but to choose sides fighting not for the flag but for their future again we're fighting just for to stay alive we're fighting for survival of essentially and choosing sides russia or the us so guys that is essentially the storyline there's not a lot to go on unfortunately as i said go and read the actual article itself put out by battlefield it is really interesting to have a read and understand obviously the storyline for battlefield to go into it obviously knowing what's going on with the game as well but uh yeah hope you guys have enjoyed i hope it did make sense i've tried to break it down as easy as possible it's quite difficult to break down when we don't know the ins and outs or too much about it but i've done my best for you guys and i hope that you uh you understand it as much as i do but uh yeah guys i hope you have enjoyed the video if you have be sure to leave a like on today's video and subscribe if you guys are brand new around here as well that'll be absolutely amazing and without further ado we'll see you all in the next one